Now this is an excellent drill if you've got a problem with scooping, flipping the, the hands and the wrists and scooping at the ball, because this is sort of a punch shot that forces you to sort of stay still right there and rotate the forearms and stop right there. And right there you want to hold your position and take a look and see if your forearms have rolled over. See how my right arm is fully extended but my left arm is bent. See right there? If you're scooped, then you're going to have your right palm pointed up and the back of your left hand pointed up at the sky, which means you haven't rotated over, which is what I see every day of the week. You've got to rotate the club over. Now let me show you one of the best. Ernie Els. Here's a guy that can turn it over. Watch this. Look at that. Boy, does he fire the hands over something serious. And you get to look at your video to see if, uh, if you're scooping, this is a great way to get rid of it. This drill right here, just hit punch shots and really get those hands to come over big time. You've got to get the hands to come over. And it's really the forearms that do it. It's not the hands. It's the forearms that do it. Then you only hit the shot to there. Don't go any further. And then check and see if you're if you're you know you're properly turned over. It is your left palm if you're right-handed pointed up at the sky, and your right palm pointing down or to the left. See this palm is pointed up. My right arm I'm not totally pointed at the ground. But more, I guess, if I was looking at the clock that way, I guess that it's about 10 o'clock at least. All right? So you've got to get those forearms to rotate over the same way I guess a bowler would do to throw a hook on the ball or a tennis player trying to put top spin on a tennis shot. They've got to come over. Again, look at Ernie Els. Bang. And if you just did the shot just from here to there, little short punch shots just like this, until you can get the feeling of it coming over. Boom. Here. Boom. In fact, even a shorter backswing would be good. Just bang. Over it goes. There it is. You've got to roll those forearms over. A little short punch drill like this is a good way to work on it and have some feedback so that you know whether you did it. If you make a full swing and you go all the way around, you might not ever know whether you actually did turn them over or not. So stop right there so you can look and check yourself out and see what position you're in.